Welcome, welcome, bike man for you. S Schwinn SSR. We've all been waiting for the final video of the SSR. I don't know if this is going to be the final one, but it's going to be an SSR and one of the last ones. So come on over. Let's check it out. We got our PCS9 over here. Let me get this out of the way here. She's been sitting up back here for a backdrop of our live show. We're going over gears, three-speed gears, and all of the things that go along with three-speed gears. So let's stick her up here on the red PCS9 and check her on out. Okay, so that covers that, right? Right. Let me make sure I get all of this stuff back in. If I don't get this stuff in the right thing, you know what Mr. Pump is going to do? He is going to kick my little fanny. Now... Next, wheels, the actual wheel itself, the, the part of the cable. Now, if you ran one of those other ones, <clears throat> if you ran your casing from up here all the way down to here, you're not going to need a cable wheel or a pulley. Uh, the cable pulley is this guy right here. I don't know if you're going to hit it here or hit it here or you want to get on the other I side. See it. I see it. So your cable fits underneath there. This is actually a stock one. And it fits right on there and it goes back and forth. Pretty cool, right? And we sell two different sizes of those. One being one and an eighth and the other being an inch. An inch and an inch and an eighth. Would you like to see them out of their little package? Surely I would, Mr. Bike Man. Pretty simple, straightforward. Sometimes they put them up here, depending upon where you want it, if, or down here. Some guys put them on this cable too. You can put them on here like that, or well, actually like that. Now this piece here that keeps the cable in place, there's a little screw underneath here and you can move that however you want. Just take yourself a little Phillips head. And then you can put this to wherever you want it, hold it into position, and then tighten it back up again. And then this thing spins. Again, this is all same factory stuff. Stir me on. Two sizes, inch and an eighth, and inch. There's your two different sizes. Good deal? Yep. Okay. Now, make sure I get them in the right package. Next, that covers our part. How do we adjust our cable for a Sturmy Archer 3-speed? Here we go. We took care of the promotional, not promotional, the product info. Now let's get into how to adjust a 3-speed cable. Okay. Brand new cable you're setting up. This is loose right now, as you can see. This can come up and it can come down which in turn is going to loose, if I come down with it, I'm loosening my cable. See how my cable is going longer and longer here? But if I push this up, come back to here, son of a, push this up, my cable gets longer, gets shorter. See how that goes? So that's how that works, depending upon fore and aft of how that thing goes up and down. Everybody copying me so far. I feel like I'm teaching a new kid that just got, just get, just, just gotten in, uh, employed and we're teaching them how about three speed. So many of your young kids don't understand the three speed at all. And I, I can understand. It's pretty old school. Make sure your axle is nice and tight. Your wheel is centered. Everything is good. Okay. We are now going to make sure our cable is in number three. Okay. She's all the way up and in number three. I'm going to leave this kind of loose here for right now. I'm going to make sure my cable is on my Got to get it underneath that little clip. Oh, this is this is still loose here. Um, and let me get the cable underneath there, and then I'm gonna tighten that up. I think I'm gonna need my glasses. Oh, no, thanks. All right, I got that onto there. I am now. There's a considerable amount of 
this is just all this all this little guy here on the indicator on the uh, indicator chain here is just nothing but a little lock nut that locks our barrel onto that. I'm going to take this. I'm going to screw it onto our adjusting barrel. Our adjusting barrel is getting screwed onto here. Oh, I don't know, halfway? Middle of the road? Okay, so that way I can go this way or I can go that way, depending upon what I want to do with it. Get with me. Next, I'm going to set this. Again, we changed our. I'm going to have to get around to that side, I think. Uh, We changed our. Uh, you might want to get onto this side, Antonio. We changed our our, uh, our rooting. It used to go on the top. The cable went along the top and down. And as always, whenever we're filming. All right, here we go. I am going to tighten up this wheel and keeping it straight and keeping my cable in line. We reused this from the old bike. Which was it was a good one. It was a steel one. It was in good shape. There's no reason to replace it if it's not dead. Okay, our cable is going to roll, run nicely on that, as you can see. Come around to my side again. Nice. All right, I'm still going to leave this in the middle. I am now going to take this and put this to one. You with me? Yes. When this is in number one, this indicator chain should be pulled out damn close to all the way. Okay? That's first gear. Now, there's three separate positions where this thing comes in and comes out, and that's regulated by your shifter lever, your trigger itself. That meters the amount of distance that the cable throws to get it into position. When you're in number one here, this indicator chain is all the way out. If it doesn't quite come all the way out, kind of move your pedals a little bit, and it'll, like, while your pedal, kind of move, just, it, just jiggle your pedals. Finagle it. Yeah. Okay, I want this all the way out right now. I'm going to hold that, I'm going to take my fulcrum, and I'm going to slide, to slide this all the way up as high as I got to go to make this tight. Oh, this is loose. Stand by. I gotta come back to you. I was wondering why that was like that. It's almost hitting on, your, <coughs> hitting on your sprocket there for a second. Gotta make sure everything is in its little slot. Okay, we're gonna move this up a little bit. We'll leave that right in the middle there. That looks about right. Okay, I gotta tighten that up. That gets tightened up. I think it's a seven millimeter or a six millimeter. I have an eight in my hand. Will an eight work? Oh, lucked out. It is an eight. <laughs> some of them are sixes, some of them are eights. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten up this cable. Now I can hold the back side of this with a little pair of pliers. It's got a little flat on it. I'm just going to hold it with a pair of water pump pliers because that's all I got and I really don't have my little baby ignition pliers with me. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of grip that bad boy right there and then we're going to crank this up accordingly. Whoops, it slipped off. Can I have just a hair break? Let's switch positions. Over you here. get no breathing room bike man because you're the bike man. That's a better position for sure. All right, she's clamped down there, nice and tight. Okay. Right, now we're back where we were before. Back to the same positions again. Okay. So we want this all the way in number one, and we want this chain all the way out, or squished out like that. Right. Now I pull. I'm holding here. This is tight. I'm holding. Now I'm going to slide this up. Whoops! I'm out of my little thing again on here. This thing just constantly wants to get out of there. Okay, now it's in there. Out. I'm gonna slide this in. It's in there. Pull this. There she goes. This is all the way tight. And you now need to hold something back, man. No, I'm alright. I got this all the way pushed up. I got some considerable tension on my cable. That thing in number one. The bad boy is in number one. There's no slack in the cable. I'm using my fulcrum accordingly. 
My fingers are getting a little tired from holding it. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Nice. There she is. Now let's just straighten it out a little bit. Now, if we have to fine tune it, we can fine tune our cable tension with the adjusting barrel in or out. Okay, so now she's coming all the way into here, into here, into here. We have this out of the way. We'll just leave that fl flicked out there for now. Let's test it. My kickstand's down. There's first gear and it works. Okay, make sure that it's catching, you know? It's catching in first. Okay, now we're gonna go to number two. Traditionally with Extermi Archer, you coast a little bit, give the lever a little flicker room, and it comes into second gear. There's second gear, and that works. Make sure that you check that. Make sure that you got enough tension. It, it, wants, to, it wants to catch, it wants to engage. Because if it's in between, this is just gonna spin like, not, like, like, like a windmill, and this isn't gonna turn. So there's, <laughs> there's second gear, right? Now we'll go up to third. Flick it in, the whole thing comes in, it catches into gear, and there's third gear. The rear hub on this bicycle is pretty pretty beat up. It got pretty hurt and pretty badly. Well, so, we, so little, little what's that? Little loving, little rubbing. Yeah, we did. We did. A, she, she got. She got better. So now my cable is is right. It's on the money. I'm gonna take my adjusting my lock nut and cinch that up to that, and we're done. We have to give that a little crimp and a little cable end on there. Cut this down a little bit. Leave about an inch showing. If you order a three-speed cable, we're going to give you a couple of these little guys too as well with it. And this goes right on the end to keep everything nice and neat and non-fraying. There you have it. Three-speed cable installation and adjustment on Sturmy Archer. Not a Shimano. We'll get into Shimano when I get to a Shimano. All right, last final thing we gotta do with this bicycle, you gotta get a set of pedals on it. These pedals are El Junco. I'm gonna swap out a, swap out a pedal, Pacera pair of pedals on one of our, uh, on our magic tester bicycle. I'm gonna put these on that, that on this. I'll, I'm gonna show you what the half story inch, is. Half inch, right? That is correct, these are half inch. Half inch juvenile pedals we put on here. They're a little shorter this way, a little smaller, a little baby feet, 24 inch. All right, bing, bing, bing. Here's the other pedal that that goes with. Let me go get that magic bike and uh, I'll be right back. So we're wrapping up the SSR and we got our old, uh, this is the gyro bike. I pulled this thing out of the barn. We use this bicycle as a magic bike uh, for training kids how to ride a bicycle on. It's got a gyroscope inside of here and that thing inside. Did you turn it on for him? I don't know if it's got charge on it or not. Now it's dead. It, you have to charge it up, it has a little battery in here, and the thing spins around, and it literally, the bike can almost ride itself to help people learn how to balance, little guys how to balance. Anyway, the bottom line is, this had a set of pedals on it that we wanted. I cannot get these pedals anymore, or they're discontinued, or, I don't know. We're working on it. Rare. rare. What's that? Partially rare. <laughs> Semi-rare. Semi-precious, like a semi-precious stone. All right, let's get that over there. I can't get my fat fingers in there to turn that off by hand. No, maybe I can. There we go. We like that pedal instead of this pedal. It was looking just a little too, a little too modern. This is much more going in style with the SSR. So we're going to put those, those on the SSR, and that's going to kind of wrap up the SSR. Um, everybody remembers that left-hand pedals are left-hand thread, right? All right, let me go to the other side. Tighten in, tighten in, in the front. Tighten into the, uh, making it go forward. The SSR. It's rounding completion. Everybody's been dying for the end of the SSR. I can't even remember when we started this thing. When did we start this project? A while ago. <laughs> Whoops. Beaten on it. Midsummer, I think. Again, she's not built to show qualifications, but she's built to workhorse qualifications. Nice vintage. Vintage bicycle. The Schwinn SSR. Totally complete. What are we missing? We put on new brakes. 
I showed you how to do that. We got our three speed on there. We gotta get a set of reflectors on here for sure. Keep it safe. Uh, chrome polished it all up. She's a little bit pitted. I mean, this bike is no youngster. It was ridden hard and put away wet. Uh, brand new, uh, brand new rubber. Nice new 24 by one and three eighths S sevens. ISO number on this tire is a uh, 32 by 547. It's a Schwinn S Special S. Repacked all the bearings. Yeah, we did. She turned out really nice. I hope everybody enjoyed the SSR series. Uh, I hope you guys had a fun time with it. I sure did. And uh, hey, we'll keep you posted on when we put it out onto eBay as a uh, as an auction. And uh, we're going to take the proceeds from it after shipping, of course. And uh, I think we're going to donate to our local one of our local charities or a charity. Um, That'll be open for discussion on our Facebook. Don't forget to rate, comment, and or subscribe if you like the SSR series. Of course, I want you guys to never fear. The Bike Man for you is here. Hello. Good. 3, 3.30? 4 o'clock? Okay. Alright, bye. Uh, <laughs> it's tomorrow's project. Uh, I know, it was tomorrow. The playroom was tomorrow's project. Alright, here we go.